Hey everybody, welcome to video number 70. This is part two of Continental Drift. We're going to continue on with Alfred Wagner. So we need some evidence to back up this theory of Wagner's, right? We always want evidence to support what we're saying, right? Because we're not going to believe you until you tell us That's that, right. right? So one of the first pieces of evidence that Wagner used is he actually had some of the fossils and plants from um, two continents that were once stuck together showed up on the coastline. And we'll get into this in the next one. But let's give a quick summary of number two. And number two says that land features lined up. So if you look at maybe a mountain range, maybe on one side of the earth, if you put it back together in that puzzle, you'll see that there's also a mountain range right next to it on another piece of the earth, which is now miles and miles and miles away. So not only like a mountain, but also maybe even a desert or flatlands. So if you line them up, those land features are going to be similar. Yep. Let's get into the plants and animals. So the identical fossils were found on the coastline that we were just talking about, but they couldn't have swam or traveled or like floated on a, you know, little piece of wood. And they didn't have a jet back then? <laughs> None of that. It wasn't <laughs> like they took a cruise from one to the other. I'd like to go to Alaska. Yeah, that would be fine. <laughs> so too much distance. So take a look at this picture that we have here and this is showing you actually we love these four fossils we talk about them um, and these four are actually showing you how the fossils found in maybe South America and Africa if you're talking about I like to call him lizard dude down there um, if you're talking about him they were found in both places which would make sense if those continents were once together Oh, let's talk about poor Wagner. You know, like mm -hmm. so many scientists, when they initially come out with their theories, people rejected it. They didn't like to hear about something new or something possible. So poor Wagner re- that's right. Right? Crossed out. And the big thing about Wegner is, and the reason why they actually rejected him is because he couldn't um, explain to them what that force was. He yeah. didn't know what it was. Because I can't imagine pushing right. continents. Like, how is that possible right. to happen? It's not like you're going to do that as, like, you know, for working Super out <laughs> later or anything. So... Poor Wegner. But later, once technology came into play, and you guys will learn that on our next video when we talk about Hess and seafloor spreading, is that they actually were able to prove him correct. Too bad you know, he was dead, though. unfortunately, he was frozen. <laughs> Way in, dead. In yep. the tundra somewhere. <laughs> yep. Poor yep. guy. So let's, uh, we wanted to pull this out because you guys are going to be working on an activity that has to do with Gondawanda land in Laurasia. Um, we're actually going to, so you guys will have a chance to actually work and line these up. And if you do it well, you should be able to put the puzzle together. It is like a puzzle, isn't it? it? Is. That's, yeah. a, it's a lot that's what it's all about. All right. So summary time. You want to do the first one? Who was Alfred Wagner? Well, Make we know he was. Who he was. He was the scientist that told us all about continental drift. You know what? People didn't believe him at the time. He couldn't really fully explain his theory, but through time and with more evidence, always looking for evidence, uh, he's been proven correct. Yep, very good. So make sure you guys can explain that theory. You can do it in steps if you want. And then don't forget the two pieces of evidence. Remember, I did one and Mrs. Thomas did one as well. We hope you liked our funny. <laughs> and as always, oh, come on, that was funny. It was good. <laughs> it was, it was really good. I was trying not to laugh. <laughs> All right. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. And thanks for letting me be a guest. Yay! I'll be back. She'll be back. <laughs> What's up, my mammals? This is Sid the Sloth from the movie Ice Age. And we're about to do this new dance, the Continental Drift. It's time to get upon your feet. It's easy to do. Just follow me. Move it out. Do the shit. Take it back. And do the shit. Step left. And drift. Step right. And then drift. Crisscross. And do the man made. Crisscross. And do the man made. Now jump, jump, wiggle your rump, and walk it out like granny. To the front. And do the shit. Take it back. And do the shit. Step left. Then drift. Step right. And then drift. Crisscross. And do the man made. Crisscross. And do the man made. Jump, jump, shake your rump and walk it out like granny. Move it out. 